coming up. For our customers, the American housewife and American families, there's more talk about wanting to know where their food comes from. Genetic from 44, there's definitely a substantial differences in terms of price structure. And the consumer will pay a premium for better quality beef. 44 Farms Genetics forge a higher standard of profitability for Angus producers, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. 44 Farms in Cameron, Texas is a leader in the Angus seed stock industry. Years ago, 44 Farms' Bob McLaren had the vision to create a large-scale, producer-based, branded beef program using premium 44 Farms Angus genetics. With the recent rollout of a branded beef partnership with Walmart, that vision is now a reality. But Bob will tell you, the best is yet to come. When we started back in early 1990s, right here in Central Texas, we thought that this was a place that we could introduce the Angus genetics in order to help ranchers be more profitable, to take their product from a commodity business and lift it up to a premium product so that they could get added value for the beef that they're raising. We started preaching the values and the merit of Angus genetics, but it wasn't until we focused on a branded beef product that we really had the right story to share with producers that these genetics really do work. The original 44 Farms branded beef program is 44 Steaks, a premium grade, third party verified never ever program, which means that no cattle treated with antibiotics will ever be sold in the 44 Steaks program. The team at 44 Farms focuses on developing genetics that work for Bob's vision. And producers in the 44 Steaks program are paid a premium for their feeder calves. Food service and, and the consumer will pay a premium for better quality beef. And when we began that program 12 years ago, it just opened up a whole new world to us that people are interested in where their food comes from, how it was raised, developed, and then distributed to the retailer or food service. Pretty cool adventure and uh, one that really is just getting started. Our focus has been always to make the producer the hero through great Angus genetics and the production of great Angus beef for the customer. In 2019, 44 Farms launched another branded beef program in a partnership with Walmart. The new program is called Prime Pursuits, and just like 44 Steaks, at the heart of Prime Pursuits are commercial Angus producers who raise high-quality Angus feeder calves. At 44 Farms, we feel we've reached a real benchmark today, which was our goal from the very beginning with the genetic program that we, that we sought after when we started the herd here at 44 Farms. We are in uh, 500 restaurants today, coast to coast. We will soon be in 500 Walmarts in the Southeast United States. That has been Bob's vision from the very beginning at 44 Farms to create a wonderful eating experience of Angus beef for people coast to coast through 44 Farms genetics. Producers across the country have made this possible for us using our genetics with us buying those feeder cattle back from those producers such as the Four Sixes Ranch, Joe Leathers, has been a great supporter of 44 Genetics and a good customer over the years, buying hundreds of bulls, and we in turn have been buying their entire calf crop for the last three years. The uh, old adage that you're still selling tons, you're selling quantity and not necessarily quality. Uh, years and years ago, I saw that that mindset of our consumer was, and our customers were starting to change. And 
that at some point we were going to be looking at a market where the all-natural NHTC type cattle was going to become more prevalent. And I was contacted through the feedlot where we feed our cattle that uh, 44 farms was interested in our cattle because of the genetics, carcass quality, the performance of the cattle. They were interested in using our cattle in their 44 stakes program. Walmart identified three primary trends in consumer expectations, transparency, freshness, and affordability. Angus producers in the Prime Pursuits program fulfill those expectations. Our consumer, our customers, the American housewife and American families, there's more talk about wanting to know where their food comes from. They want to understand how the cattle are treated, whether they're treated humanely. They want to know what the beef has been fed. They want to know you know, everything from birth to plate they're starting to want to know and they want to be able to trace that and have some certainty that it's being done in a way that is sustainable. This program gives us an opportunity to highlight not only what we do as individual ranches, but what the cattle industry as a whole is doing. Through efficiency, volume, and consistency in the Walmart beef supply chain, consumer expectations are met with sustainable and affordable Angus beef. At the same time, producers get a premium price for feeder calves in the program. And with information collected through the Prime Intelligence Data System, producers in Prime Pursuits have a valuable herd management tool. One of the most exciting aspects of the 44 program and where we are today with Prime Pursuits is the data that we are collecting through the feedlot and through the harvest data that we are able to collect. Actual carcass data and actual feedlot data are two of the most important factors in profitability in the cattle business. When we receive those cattle, we're looking at weights by EID, so by individual animal, and we want to track their growth while they're at the backgrounder and while they're at their feed yard. Um, we obviously want to look at metrics like average daily gain and feed efficiency, um, and then we want, we want to look at carcass performance when we get the harvest data back from Creekstone. I think we've really got an advantage within Prime Pursuits and our Prime Intelligence system because we've got a vast number of producers from all across the country. We're working with a very large number of animals and so we're collecting a lot of data. I mean, we should have the ability in the very near future to use techniques like artificial intelligence and machine learning um, because we've got so much data to analyze and really draw interesting conclusions about this information that we can use to our advantage, but we can also provide that information back to the producers that we're working with. I'll wean my calves and background them for 45 to 60 days, make sure they get backgrounded well, and then right now, at this, up until today, I've been selling these calves to 44 farms at that point after they're backgrounded. And so I'm getting to watch these calves go all the way through. And by doing that, I've been able to use that management tool to make some calculated decisions on my program. That's that. Coming up. The genetic advantages that we see from, from 44, there's definitely a substantial differences in terms of price structure. 44 Farms genetics are developed to earn premiums for Angus producers everywhere. That's next here on The American Rancher. Walthall, First Impression Officer at 44 Farms in Cameron, Texas, I'd like to take just a minute to invite you to come join us for our spring bull sale in Cameron. It'll be February 22nd and we have 566 awesome Angus bulls for you to choose from. We also have an incredible team that would welcome any questions you have or any way that we can help you, we'd be so happy to. We also have a chicken fried steak brunch before the sale starts. So join us if you can on February 22nd in Cameron, Texas. The sale starts at 10.30, we'll serve lunch at nine. Mark your calendar. Who would wanna miss that? I'll be looking for you at 44 Farms. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Over the years, Bob McLaren and the team at 44 Farms develop premium genetics that create profitability for producers who raise high quality Angus beef. And those genetics are the benchmark for the 44 stakes and the Prime Pursuits partnership with Walmart. 
And that's one of the things that got Walmart so fired up about what we're doing. They understand how important it is for cattle producers to be profitable because profitability leads to sustainability. And when we do that, we have secured the future of production agriculture for so many people in America. If you sit back and, and watch the offerings all year long, whether it's at our studio in Fort Worth or on our tour sales throughout the summer, the genetic advantages that we see from, from 44, there's definitely a substantial differences in terms of price structure. I've had some buyers call me back on some cattle I sold last year out of their bulls, and they said it was just unbelievable, the carcass and how they killed. And so they said they're definitely going to be bidding on them again. I flew down there, I think, three or four years ago, first time, bought a bunch of bulls. And the first concern was how they were going to hold up when we got them back to our country, which is Idaho, Oregon, Nevada, that kind of country. So I bought, I think, about 35 bulls, 40 bulls, and we took them home, and uh, they held up really good. And so the next year I went down and bought twice as many bulls. I already booked my reservations for 44 farms this year and I'm going back and I'm going to have a lot of orders. My 44 bull purchases are going throughout the United States, had a tremendous amount of success with the product. The cattle have held up in uh, various uh, types of environment from kind of easy environment to about as rough an environment as you can get and we've had good luck with the product. And their buyback program is unbelievable and I send, I've been sending them cattle all year. When they started the, the buyback program several years ago, first with 44 stakes and then now with Prime Pursuits, it made it even more appealing for me to uh, want to do business with a program that uh, could benefit me and my customers. You know, we base the feed program and the management program growing these bulls here at 44 for longevity. These bulls are fed a high roughage ration they're out in big traps. Uh, we want these bulls to last. Uh, we know that uh, they they're cost a lot of money and we develop them so that they'll last for you and do you a good job for the future. Hopefully we can get five, six years out of these bulls, seven years even. I focus primarily on superior premium genetics with a lot of my video customers and, and commercial programs that I've worked with. So it's been my goal to work with seed stock producers that um, fulfill that need in terms of better genetics. It makes my, makes my opportunities as a video representative uh, more appealing to potential buyers. I've been purchasing 44 bulls for customers for probably four years now and uh, uh, their, their guarantee is as good as there is in the business. I think in those four years, in, in the bulls that I've selected for customers, we've had two bulls that we've had a little bit of a problem with, and, and they immediately made it right. You know, we feel that 44 has uh, one of the best customer service programs in the country. If you give any of us a call, whatever your needs are, we're going to get with you right away. We know that there's a lot of places you can buy bulls and we want you to uh, feel like you can call any of us at any time here at 44. Uh, we'll get right with you and take care of your needs. Uh, there's a lot of options in the bull market and we, uh, we want you to feel like this is home for you. So if uh, any, at any time you need anything or have any trouble with any of your bulls, just give us a call. Bob was able to and certainly did in the early days establish integrity. You know, character and ethics is embedded in any 44 farms and it's embedded in every person that works here. It is important that when a customer comes on to 44 farms, if the 44 brand was on there, that meant integrity. Coming up on the food safety side, we do hand sanitizer in order to actually walk onto the floor. So for the doors to actually open and let you in, you have to use hand sanitizer. We need that um, in the Capitol. Yeah. <laughs> right? We need that Georgia Governor Brian Kemp cuts the ribbon on the new Walmart Case Ready Beef Processing Plant, the final big step in the 44 Farms Prime Pursuits branded beef partnership. You're watching The American Rancher. Are you ready, please? One, two. We want to welcome you to the 44 Farms Spring Bull Sale. We're going to be selling 560 
big stout Angus bulls in this cell. And it's a wonderful opportunity to be here, bring your family, be a part of the festivities. It's a great day at 44 Farms. We're gonna have chicken fried steak this year for lunch. We'll be serving all day long. Come see us. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The 44 Farms Prime Pursuits partnership with Walmart begins with a transparent commitment to consumers' demand for high-quality, fresh, and low-cost Angus beef. Backed with premium genetics, extensive data collection, a sustainable supply chain, and Walmart's commitment to the partnership, Angus producers across the country will have an opportunity to earn steady premiums for their high-quality load lot feeder calves. Recently, Walmart opened their first case-ready beef processing plant in Thomasville, Georgia. The opening of the Thomasville, Georgia plant by Walmart was really the last major step in the launch of our program with Walmart. That was an extraordinary day, one in which uh, we had all been working towards and, and looking forward to having the case-ready plant ready to be online and distribute uh, the new product to stores throughout the southeast. The product comes in on that end. We take it out of the core, get before it ever hits the production floor, um, so that uh, we don't have that contaminant even possible on the floor. Five states will be involved, with Florida, Georgia being the principal states marketed, and then also uh, Walmart intends to expand this first phase to South Carolina, parts of Mississippi, and Alabama. This has been a big project even for a company like Walmart. It's an enormous project to build a supply chain and then build a facility that can handle that. And so it's been a lot of work. Everyone pushed to their limits, including the folks that worked on the live side. I mean, it's been a lot of work for us. And and it already has started paying off. And we have some great product in our stores right now, and there's going to be more and more stores that receive this product in the future. That's how we get people enrolled and recruited to get into this program. Trust in us, trust in what we're doing. They believe in what you guys are doing, and uh, the change you've made from originally when you put uh, beef in your stores to where you're at today, it, it's nine days. This all began over three years ago when Greg Foran from Walmart came to 44 Farms and brought his team. And today we're realizing the dream and having the ribbon cutting here in Thomasville, Georgia. This is our uh, official grand opening. So we have the governor coming. and uh, To literally feed the southeast with great beef coming from all over this country. One, two, three. All right. yeah. It's so exciting to look back on 2019, our first year in which we were full scale sourcing, purchasing, and developing feeder cattle for the Walmart program. We saw so many interesting things develop and happen. And one of the things that I'm most proud of is the fact that we have 640 producers part of the Prime Pursuits program in year one. Each of those producers provided 190 head of Angus cattle to the program. 190 head, that's relatively small in the grand scheme of things. But what is so exciting and so neat to me is that it is reflective of the grassroots nature of this program. I don't know of anything like it in America. We have large producers, but the vast majority of people that are involved with us in Prime Pursuits are smaller cattle operators. And it's so easy to be a part of what we're doing. Now, the only exception is we need a, a load, a full truck load in order to be in the program. But if you follow all the other requirements of the program, which are very easy to do, you can be a part of the Prime Pursuits program with Walmart. That's a great American story, and it's just beginning. This is different than any other program in America. I know Walmart wants to get these five states really up and running and, and uh, as efficient as it possibly can before it looks to doing anything further, but uh, the opportunity is certainly there, and the product has really performed well at retail, but also along the supply chain 
uh, we've been very pleased with the cattle and, and all of the steps along the way. So we're excited about the achievements of year one, but the years ahead are really where the great, great rewards are going to come in terms of making people successful, but delivering the consumer a great Angus product at their home and on their table. You know, Saturday, February 22nd, 2020, I really view our sales at 44 Farms as a family reunion. It's a gathering of old friends, people that have done business with us for many years, and then also a warm welcome to those that, th that this may be the first time they've come to 44 Farms to see how so many people have benefited by the genetics of 44 Farms, how it's helped their operations, and in many cases, how we work together and part of our 44 Farms stakes program and also now the Prime Pursuits program. It's teamwork in business that I love so much. People working together to achieve something bigger than they ever could by themselves. And when we work together with the same objective of providing the consumer the best possible eating experience, that's when we all win. And that's what our goal and mission is. So I think the best is yet to come. To learn more about 44 Farms Prime Pursuits and about the upcoming spring bull sale, log on to 44farms.com. And to learn more about us, log on to our website, theamericanrancher.com, or look us up on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for our entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Superior.